Hi everyone. So we're here in this corner of the office today where we test booking panels. You can see here I've, what we're looking at is a Microsoft Teams room booking panel. So the panel we've got here is made by Yealink. You can also get panels made by Logitech, by Neat or by Crestron. And whichever panel you go with, the physical hardware will be a little bit different, but the interface that you'll see on the panel is going to look the same because that's the Microsoft Teams app that's running on there. You can see down the side here, we've got the green LEDs. So you've got multiple panels running down the floor in your office, for example. As soon as you come onto the floor and you look down the side of the rooms, you can see those LEDs. Any green LEDs means the room's available and any red LEDs means that the room is booked. You can also set that to be for when the room is booked, it goes to the Microsoft Teams purple rather than a red LED. We've got this configured for green and red. So I come and I look at the panel and I can see the name of the meeting room and I can see that the room is currently available all day. And the way you would set this up is you get the panel out of the box, you plug it in and it asks you to sign into the Microsoft Teams room. You use the same login details as what you'd use for setting up your Microsoft Teams room. And it's gonna look at that same calendar. So anything that you can see in the exchange calendar for that, that account, anything that appears on the touch panel in the room is also gonna appear on the booking panel outside the room. I can also create an ad hoc booking here from the panel. So I come up to the panel, I can see the room's available and I want to reserve it. So I'm gonna press the reserve button and we're currently at 12.58. I'm gonna book that all the way up till 1.45. Hit reserve, panel turns red. I've now got the room booked. So you can see up here that the room is now booked till 1.45. So if I then go into the meeting room, what we're gonna see now is that that booking that I've created has appeared here on the panel. So you can also see the little Microsoft Teams logo. It's automatically created a Teams meeting for me. So if I had a meeting that was all pre-scheduled in my calendar that I wanted to attend, I'd have options. I could have forwarded that meeting to the, to the room. It'd show on the booking panel and it'd show in here. But where I am at the moment, I can't forward it to the room because I've already got a booking on the panel. I could use the proximity join from my Microsoft Teams client to join. I could use the meeting ID to join that way. Or if I want to use the meeting that the booking panel's created for me, I just press the join button and that's gonna dial straight into the meeting for me. If I wanted to add another participant to the meeting, as long as it's a local participant that I, an internal participant, I should say, that I have in my Active Directory, I can come here and I can, for example, search for Jeremy. He's gonna pop up on there. I can give that a click. I can dial him into the meeting. I could also send the meeting ID that I've got here to the person that I want to join the meeting and they could join using the meeting ID. So if I just leave that call, I'm, I finished my meeting now. I actually didn't need till 1.45. I finished quicker than I thought I would need. So I come out of the room. Rather than leaving that room booked all the way to 1.45, I can come here, click manage, and I can check out of the booking. And what that does is when I press check out, it says, this will end your room reservation. Yep, that's fine, check out. And it ends the meeting. That room is now available. People can get in there and use it again. So we're gonna look at a slightly different way of working now. So we've created a meeting in Microsoft Teams and we forwarded that to the room's calendar and you can see that's popped up here on the panel. So that was booked by Jeremy. It's booked from 10 past one till 1.40. And you can see again up in the corner, there's a Microsoft Teams call attached to it. So you can see that on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the settings and show you some of the advanced settings that we can get to on these panels. So I'll go into the Teams admin settings and I'll just Bob my password in. So to begin with, these are the wallpapers that you can select on the panel. So these come preloaded into the panel and at the moment, there's no way to change that. If I go to my LED settings, then as I said earlier, I can just choose the busy state. I can swap between red or purple. We go with red. If I go to the meetings page, these are the different settings I can get to. So first of all, there's a check-in option here at the top. And what that does is, if I turn that on, when people come to the room now, there'll be a check-in button. I'm gonna change that to 15 minutes. So, if no one checks into this room within the first 15 minutes of the meeting, it will release that room and make it available for other people to use. So, it just it's a good way of maximizing the usage of your room. You do have to educate your users so that they know to check in when going into the rooms. If I go down the rest of the options, so we've got show meeting names. So 
maybe for security reasons you don't want to show the meeting names on your panel you could turn that off so there's an option that say showroom equipment and what that does is it adds a little button a little web app that you can press and it will show you what equipment's in the room before you come to use it the checkout button we showed in the earlier video that's how you say that you finished your meeting early and you want to leave the room now for the extend room reservation that lets you you know extend your meeting by 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes that sort of thing and disable room reservations you don't want people to be able to walk up and press the reserve button to book the room that turns that off for you so what we can see now because i've enabled the check-in functionality we've now got this check-in button here so we've shown up we're ready to start our meeting I can come and I can press check in and that's checked in now. So the room release isn't going to trigger anymore. I don't need to worry about that. I've still got the checkout button if I wanted to turn that off. Another thing that you can do on these panels is you can add web apps from the Microsoft App Store on Microsoft Teams. And what that'll do is it'll add a little button here and you can, the options are endless really for what you want that button to do. Um, common ones that we've talked to people around are Maybe you want a concierge button, you want people to, someone to bring tea and biscuits to the room, you push a button, someone brings that for you. Or maybe you want some technical support, so you have a help button that sends a, a message off to the tech support team to come and give you a hand in the meeting room. You can absolutely set things like that. So that's, that's the Microsoft Teams room panel. Again, this one's made by Yealink. There are other manufacturers out there. There are also completely other systems out there where maybe you've got a bit more that you want from your building management system to be able to help you manage your rooms and monitor your spaces and um, if you have any questions or you any interest in those sorts of systems please feel free to reach out and we are more than happy to get in touch and see what we can do to help